Hi, welcome back to Conversations with the ERC5. Today I have with me Mary Demkowski from Cedarbrook Village in Ware. Mary, welcome. Thank you, Grace. It's a pleasure to have you here with us. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. So tell us a little bit about Mary and what led you to Cedarbrook Village. Oh my gosh, how long do you have? Um, <laughs> now I've been in this field for a very long time and uh, grew up in this area. And then my husband and I decided to move to California for a job and um, stayed there for about 25 years and started working in this field. And then we decided we wanted to come back home. And the timing was perfect because I learned of Cedarbrook Village being built in the town of Ware. Mm -hmm. And... I applied and got hired, and it was just an all meant to be. So it's a little bit about how I got to Cedarbrook. Yeah, well, and the reason I asked that is because it's a beautiful community. It is. And even though it is newer, it's a new community, you've got a lot of wonderful people that have come together. And everyone, yes. it, it's not that they're starting fresh. They've all been in senior mm -hmm. living, senior health care. So they've all come together and have brought so much experience yes, we have, to the table. Um, we have the best team um, from, you know, the director to mm -hmm. our nursing. They've, many of them work together prior and have come to Cedarbrook. So I feel very fortunate to be a part of this, the team. Yeah. And, and that's so important. Mm -hmm. um, you know, in, in the current climate out there, there's always people are looking for staff. Mm -hmm. um, yes. That's always been coming from senior living and having the pleasure of working with your director, mm -hmm. Kelly, who is fabulous. Um, we're always looking for folks. But the important thing is when you do go to a community is, is just asking about the staff and how mm -hmm. long have they been. And mm -hmm. that's what I think is key. Mm -hmm. You're a newer community, but if you take the years of mm -hmm. service that all of you that have come together, you, you add those up, um, that's amazing. It's true. And that, that shows everyone's passion, mm -hmm. I feel. And for I love, the work that you do. Absolutely. And I love the fact that, you know, many of the original team members and mm -hmm. staff are still there. Yeah. So it's, that speaks it's volumes. Mm -hmm. So you've got a great group together. We do. We Kudos really do. to you for Thank that. Thank you. Um, so tell us about Cedarbrook Village. Um, it's, it's a retirement community. Mm -hmm. What Level, what types of care do you provide? So we have actually, we're, we're an independent living as well as assisted living. Mm -hmm. So our independent residents have their own apartments, but they are truly independent. Yes. Um, but they can take advantage of all the amenities like the meals and the housekeeping and the fitness center and the movie theater and all that good stuff. And then we also offer assisted living to those residents who may need a little bit of help or maybe a little bit more help. Mm -hmm. Um and then there's also our memory care community. So we um, provide what's called an early memory loss neighborhood. Um, we named it Crossroads for those that maybe just need a little extra help because of memory loss, but don't need to be in a full memory care community. And then we do offer that memory care community for those with more moderate to advanced um, stages of dementia. Mm -hmm. So we really, we really do offer a full spectrum of care. Yeah, you can you can move in, right? Mm -hmm. And you're completely independent. You bring your car, you're still driving. You have a fabulous apartment. Mm -hmm. um, so it's fantastic. And then as you start to slow down, or maybe you need a little bit more help, it's not like you're back out there looking for another exactly. community. You just go through the different levels of care. Right, and you've already... You're already acclimated to living at the community. It's just a matter of implementing that assistance when it's time. Yeah, that's fantastic. And I love that you have the memory care, but you have that interim mm -hmm. piece of it. Um, because there are different levels. And when yes. you're in the early stages, you can still be functioning, right? right. You don't yet need... The memory care. Right. And those residents can still participate in activities in the assisted living community, 
but they're, they're getting a little bit of extra help and direction and guidance throughout their day so that they're not feeling confused or wondering, well, what do I do now? We've got that person to just guide them throughout their day. And um, it works out really nice. Mm -hmm. And you're wonderful supporters of the Alzheimer's Association yeah. and the Walk to End walk, Alzheimer's. Just like you it's, are. <laughs> it's always a pleasure to see you there. Um, and I think that is so important. Mm -hmm. But you're also doing other things. Uh, you've got a memory cafe. Yes. Um, tell us a little bit about that. So the memory ca cafe is offered to people outside of our community that are caring for a loved one with Alzheimer's or dementia and just want to get out of the house and, and participate maybe in an activity. So it could be we do it on a Friday afternoon the last Friday of the month. It could be a painting class. It could be a music event um, or something something enjoyable that they can do together with their loved one. Mm -hmm. um, and just like I said, get out of the house and um, yeah. participate and get them stimulated. Right. That, those memory cafes are wonderful. Yeah, it's a, they are. It's a great idea, and I would love to see people take advantage mm -hmm. of those because, as you said... Um, it, it happens at, at a specific time, so then it becomes a routine for those mm -hmm. that are going through some dementia, memory yes. loss. But it provides an opportunity for for a couple to come together and enjoy an activity, and and the the spouse that has the memory loss is engaging with right. with others who right. are also experiencing the same thing. But the spouse who's still well is connecting with others and, I, and they're yes. sharing and supporting one I another. I think that's the key part of it. I think you hit it right on the head is that they, you know, sometimes if they feel they're alone, but when they come to yeah. something like this and they see other people in the, their same shoes, it really gives them some, you know, some sense of support. That's Definitely. wonderful. I applaud you for that. I oh, think that is absolutely fantastic. And it's also, it doesn't have to be spouses. It could be, you know, a, a grandchild yep. with, with grandma. There's, it's a just a or, wonderful mm -hmm. way um, to, again, get yep. the person who's starting that memory loss journey involved with others. And it gives the, the caregiver um, an outlet. Right. Time to Definitely. just kind of spend with others. Mm -hmm. So what other exciting programs do you have going on? Um, well, that we set you apart. Um, one of the programs that I think is one of the best things about Cedarbrook Village is our exercise physiologist. So for those that do, might not know what that is, um, it's actually, it's not quite a physical therapist, but it, it, there is a degree for an exercise physiologist. And we have Miranda, who's wonderful. And what she does is not only does she lead exercise classes on a daily basis, she does nutrition classes. She also works one-on-one -on -one with the residents. So when you move in, if you want to set a time to meet with Miranda, she'll work with them to, on balance, on strength, um, exercise focused specifically for them. If someone's coming to us from rehab, she can continue the mm -hmm. rehab. We've seen amazing things. I mean, we've seen people come in that, that their mobility was in a wheelchair and now they're walking with a walker because of what they've done with Miranda. Um, so, and it, that's all included in our monthly fee. There's no extra, extra that's charge not an extra for that. Service. Not at all. So um, it's something that was very important to our owners and mm -hmm. it also helps in reducing falls and that's key. So, um, so we have that, um, you know, we have a lot of great activities and outings and, uh, um, it's just a fun place to be, you know, um, well, you had like a fabulous event that I unfortunately could not make. Um, but please put me on the list because you had cousins, Maine lobster. Oh my goodness. Yes. Um, they were up. You did that recently. Last, last Thursday or Wednesday, we had Cousins Maine Lobster Truck. Um, we have uh, three communities in the Connecticut area, so Cousins frequents them, and so they reached out to us, and um, the residents really enjoyed it, and, and the community as well. Hello. Yes. I, I wanted to be there. I, I just couldn't make couldn't it. make it. So the next time they're in town, um, I'm going to be watching, because right. you had it on your Facebook page. Yeah, we had so it on that's... our Facebook page, and we try to kind of... Uh, 
had flyers out in the community as well. Mm -hmm. So, and our next big event is on June 10th. We're actually having a classic car show and that's going to be a fundraiser for the Alzheimer's Association for our team and the walk. Um, We did it last year in September. It wasn't supposed to rain and it rained and (laughs) it it was a little disappointing, but this year we are not going to have any rain and it's going to be a Saturday morning, June 10th from 10 to 2. June 10th. Okay. I got to jot that down and save the date. But you ha- like I said, the Facebook page, I think, is, is very mm-hmm. helpful in knowing what is going yes. on. But for our audience, if someone's at home and is thinking, you know, I'd like to visit the mm-hmm. community with, with my parents and see what it's all about. Because 10 years in senior living, I am a big proponent of visit now when visit everyone now. is healthy and exactly. just know what's out there and know what what your choices are so that you make the best choice right. because so many times people go to a community when they're in an emergent mm-hmm. situation and then you rush into a decision exactly um so i think these events that you have are fantastic mm-hmm. it's a great way to mm-hmm. experience meet the staff Definitely. the residents and get a good feel for it mm-hmm. how else can our our audience, if they want to come out and and meet with you and maybe take a tour of the community, learn more, Mm -hmm. how can they get in touch with you? So you can always call the community. We have someone there seven days a week Mm -hmm. uh, to do tours. So if I'm not there, my associate Susan's there or our uh, director Kelly is there. Um, Our phone number is 413-758-5377. You can also visit our website, which is Everbrook Senior Living. Dot okay. com and just click on the link for Cedarbrook Village and you can schedule a tour right there. Um, so many easy ways to get a hold of us. Wonderful. And our Facebook page too. And there you go. <laughs> <laughs> and they can mark their calendars June 10th. Mm-hmm. There's the car show so we can all come out and meet you and the team and, love that. and take a peek at the community. Yes. And it's all for a wonderful cause for the Alzheimer's Definitely. Association. So thank you so much, thank Mary. You, Grace. It was a pleasure having it you with us my today. My pleasure as well. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. And thank you for joining us for this podcast. If you'd like more information on our podcasts or how you could be a guest on the ERC5 Conversations, go to our website at erc5.com. We look forward to seeing you here soon. Thank you.